Here we go. Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's Broker Talk. If you want to learn how to be a better agent, if you want to learn how to make a million dollars, if you want to buy and sell million dollar uh, properties, you're at the right place. My guest today is the creator, the founder, and a great guy along with uh, Darina, her, his partner. Um, welcome, uh, Walter Amarello. Thank you, Larry. It's good to be here. And I got to say, this is the best year for real estate investing, best year for real estate agents. 2024 is just fantastic. And it's so good to be back on the show. Uh, you have been doing an amazing job inspiring and educating people. So it's, it's just so good to be back here and see what, everything you've done. Well, you're a good friend to the show. I've known Darina a long time when she first started out in the industry. Um, you guys do great work and you particularly do great work for people who are trying to purchase and grow their business. I know when you originally started out, you were looking to make 100 people millionaires. Uh, it sure seems that you've done that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we have now in our community over 400 millionaires, uh, 30 of which we've personally built from the beginning. Uh, and then somewhere along the way, I said, you know what, instead of building millionaires, let's serve millionaires and have them commit to building others. It makes a lot more sense. We can build a million millionaires this way. So this was actually inspired by Vinnie Chopra, who's a billionaire, who owns $1.6 billion worth of real estate. And he always corrects me. He says, well, remember, a small part of that is actually mine. Only 30% of that is mine. And, and the rest is my investors. So uh, very, very impressive guy. And he said, I think 100 is too small. He said, well, I think together we can build a million. And if we attract a couple of really smart people who who care about other people, we can we can definitely do it. We just got to keep working at what we're doing. So, And you're one of those people, Larry. So, <laughs> so we're here. <laughs> you know, we... Uh, 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 we both care very much about each other. We approach it uh, differently. Makes no difference. If you want a template to find the way to your own million dollars, then join up, get a coach. Um, but here's the, the secret sauce. It's the accountability. It's the people that are around you. When you're out there doing it by yourself and, and just wondering who can I talk to, where can I talk, you're, it's going to be a slower climb for you. You'll look into things. You'll make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. If you can make those mistakes faster and have somebody help you understand how not to make them, um, then you're then you're golden. Then you're on your way. So I know you have a mastermind group that focuses on uh, multifamilies and um, you meet every Monday. Uh, and how many people are in that group? So that group varies. Right now, this year, there's about 40 people in it. And uh -huh. uh, we do focus on multifamily, but some of our investors, uh, especially the investors in the South and uh, Southern Midwest states, they seem to be single family investors, but they still use the strategies. And uh, one of the gentlemen just bought seven houses. So he he invested or he bought like a portfolio of single families. This gentleman had you know acquired single families over the years and he bought a portfolio so now he uh, he actually just closed in seven sing seven single families. So it, it works kind of all, all over the place. But yeah, multifamily is, you know, I'm from New England. There's a lot of them. So that's where, where I started, right? <laughs> sure. You're in Florida now, right? I live in Tampa, Florida. It is, uh, I started off as a snowbird. I was like, we'll just stay down. I told Dorena, we'll stay down there for like eight months and then we'll come back. And after eight months, I was like, let's just stay. Let's try the summer. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> just stayed down. It's been three years and... Uh, no sign of going back anytime soon. <laughs> well, I think I understand why uh, Darina has to go back to her home country, Russia, to get the cold and actually yeah. thank family and speak her native. You probably don't speak Russian. I got three words. I can say spasiba, rus, and dva. And I know Nazdrovia, so I, I know four words. <laughs> and they, uh, I don't know what they mean, but they're probably, I love you. I care about you. You're right, honey, right? <laughs> They should be. Uh, I think spicy was like, it's please. And it's also thank you. So oh. I think that's kind of a, a dual word there. Sure. Russ, the vase one and two. So Darina does her exercises and she'd be like, Russ, the Russ. So that's why I learned that one. <laughs> and then Nasdrovia is cheers. So anytime we do cheers, uh, you say Nasdrovia. Always necessary. Always a good one to have. Um, 
So uh, the uh, Alchemist Nation and the Mastermind Group, they work in very, very specific ways. Could you break that down a little bit for the audience? Yeah. So if you've read Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, he, he teaches, he, I think he was kind of the first person who really said, this is what a mastermind should be. And this is how it should operate. And his premise was you know, no more than 12 people. And it's got to be, you know, two times a week. And you, you go through, basically, he said, go through his book, you know, multiple Whole, like just one chapter per week and kind of go through that process. Over the years, the masterminds have developed to be unique to the goal. So the target that the, the people in the mastermind want. And in real estate investing, it turns out that 12 people isn't quite enough for certain types of things. If you're going to find deals, you need a kind of a spread of people who have access to deals. If you're going to raise capital, you need a spread of people to raise capital. And if you're looking to learn about different markets, it doesn't help if you have a person who's only in you know one market. So you, you spread it out a little bit. So our mastermind, we meet on Mondays and we start with a lesson. And the lesson generally is generated by a deal that was submitted to the mastermind group itself. And we'll, we'll kind of walk through that deal with everybody on the call. Because if you don't sharpen those skills of evaluating deals and looking at different deals, as you know, as a broker, every deal is different. Every property is different. Every every seller is different. Every you yeah. know, every situation is you know different. So we we want to make sure that people have exposure to it without the risk of it. Right. So part of that is evaluate deal, evaluate deal, evaluate deal. So we evaluate one to three deals per week on the call live. But we also have our Facebook group, so we can submit deals. I'll go in and say, hey, this is why I would do this. Be cautious with that. Um, one of the challenges you have in real estate is don't tell people what you're doing until it's under agreement, right? Because somebody could steal the deal from you. So in this mastermind, we have, it's it's not disclosure. Like nobody can take any deal from anybody in this mastermind, otherwise you're removed. So it's uh, it's really about like, how do we put all these things in place so a person can be more successful and kind of go through this process of, of wealth development, right? Like buying real estate isn't about ego. It's not about... Uh, how much do I own? It's not about uh, how rich you are. It's really about, I want my children to have a financial legacy. I want a, a fort, a financial fort around my family. So that's that's kind of the mastermind's tactic is accountability, it's education. And uh, we have this little component where at the end of the night, we do for about 20 minutes, this area where we, we all break out into breakout rooms. So it's like three to five people and we're sharing our accountability. You know, what are the three wins from the week? What's the one thing we can hold you accountable to? It's usually submitting offers or calling a contractor or calling a private lender, like something like that. Like, And so every week, you know, there's 52 weeks in a year, you've got these 52 targets that you're going to hit every week. And if for some reason you don't miss it, you miss it, like your accountability group is going to support you. And the main mastermind will support you too if, if it's a challenge that the little group can't handle themselves. Um, so that's, that's kind of like the secret sauce to an effective mastermind in real estate. And it, by the way, is not the perfect one. There's, there's so many different ways. Everybody's different, uh, but that's that's the strategy that we found that builds millionaires. Is you know people need to know, people care about them. They need to know they have assurance, and uh, they also need information. You know because every deal is different, right. and um, we do strongly suggest they work with brokers. That we do strongly suggest they work with agents because uh, if you don't have an agent on your side, like you could get messed up in the negotiations or the contracts, or you know sellers could take advantage of you. Sure. So it's sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> and and not all of your your people are, in fact, agents. They're people with money, people who are interested in real estate. But accountability is uh, absolutely so essential. And so few people do it. Um, I mean, in a in a systematic way, I have my entire career, not just this career, but my other careers always had. Uh, an accountability partner. I've had maybe 20 over the years for a number of years. And and we start the day and we talk about what we're doing. Tomorrow, we remember what we were going to do and we keep ourselves accountable. But um, the other aspect of that, uh, Walter, is trust. And trust and accountability are things that aren't normally you find in real estate. Um, I know they talk about it all the time, but um, we are all self-employed, you know, uh, working for ourselves and, um, people 
who think only of themselves or trying to grab everything and bring it to them. Yes, they can be successful, but they're never going to feel the, the success it feels like when you join a whole group and you can turn to your to your accountability partner, hey, I got this done. Thank you so much for whatever you gave to me, the information, the insight, uh, the clause that I needed because I have a tenant in there who says they don't want to leave. Whatever the the issue is, and the issues the issues are are not just in Florida, but they're everywhere. They're, they're in Massachusetts, they're in Arizona, they're in California. Um, and uh, humans are humans. Human are human all over. And they have their own agenda. So being with a group, having uh, a system, and I understand you, you have a system with this. So talk to me about the system that you use. Yeah, so I actually borrowed the system from my mentor. And uh, he has this... 14 module uh, education program that he bought, uh, built, and he spent tens of thousands of dollars building it. The PowerPoints, the, um, so he, the PowerPoint he uses is actually the same PowerPoint he used to generate millions and millions and millions of dollars. So he gives us that PowerPoint so we can raise capital. So it educates a person how multifamily investing works, you know, the differences between a uh, renter nation coming, the silver tsunami. And he has a spreadsheet that he built for him evaluating deals. So it's a very complex spreadsheet that shows, you know, ROI, IRR, all the different things that you need for investing. But he's got these 14 modules that are over 100 videos. They're all three minutes long, two minutes long, some five minutes. And we just follow that system. And the system starts with, here's how you underwrite a deal. Here's how you get your mindset right. Here's how you negotiate. Here's how you talk to investors. Here... So every module, every single week, we're going through a different stage. So our community ends up educated, but it's through a process set up by somebody who's way ahead of us. He's almost 72 years old. So he's uh, 72 years young is what he likes to say. So he's been in this for a long time. He knows what he's doing. And so I didn't create the system. I borrowed the system. Um, I pay him royalties every time I sell somebody into the mastermind. So uh, he gets a little piece of it. And so that's one of the reasons that uh, like we tell everybody is like, hey, you know, you're, you're donating to the cause. Every dollar that goes into Vinny, Vinny just puts more into his training programs and, and educating right. his books. So um, it's it's systematic because it has to be. You know, Part of the human mind when you're doing something you've never done is belief. You don't believe it's possible. So a part of the mastermind is really just showing deals that people have done in the mastermind. So people who've seasoned, been in there for a year or two years, they've done things. They got things under their belt. So when people are new and they come in, we're like, hey, by the way, you know, here's like, how's that deal going? So we, we kind of update so a person can believe. There's three steps, three steps to success in real estate, um, in, in investing and in all, all things, really. This came from another billionaire, not Vinny, another billionaire. His name is Ramey Elbatrawi, and he wrote the book, um, You Really Can Think and Grow Rich, or Can You Really Think and Grow Rich? And uh, he was homeless in Tampa for five years, homeless here in Tampa. He lives in uh, San Diego. And I, I asked him, I was like, hey, you ever want to come out? He's like, no, I, I'm, I don't go back to Tampa because <laughs> the mindset, like he's like, I just, sure. I did what I had to do out there. I, you know, I learned, but he's, uh, he's done billions and billions and billions of dollars of deals. And I asked him, I said, what is the secret? You know, what, how do you, how do you think billion dollar deals? And he said, it's, it's three steps. It's how you do a billion dollar deal. And the reason I share this is because it's the same for a million dollars, same for 10 million. It's all the same, whether you're doing that first hundred thousand dollars, right? He said, first, you got to believe it's possible. And that that's where, you know, in the mastermind, we show that your belief system. He said, the second you need a visual representation. So visually, they need to be able to see what you're talking about, what you're, you're going to do. Right. And that's where Vinny's PowerPoint comes into place. He spent $10,000 building it. We, we just tell somebody, send it to Fiverr, you know, 40 bucks and you've got your, your brand now. So you need a visual, you need to, be able to show your investors, show your the sellers, the people you're buying the house from, you need to show them what you're going to do with that house. And sometimes that's a PowerPoint presentation. Sometimes it's like a, you draw it out on a piece of paper, whatever, whatever needs to happen. The third part is you tell everybody. So we walk people through this process of like, get your mindset right. Cool. We believe. Second, here's how you present to people. Here's how you negotiate with a seller. Here's how you negotiate with investors. Here's how you, you talk to people. And then the third part is generally talk. Like, here, how do we get more attention? How do we get in front of more people? How do we build more relationships? How do we how do we connect with people on a deeper level so that they trust us? Because as you know, they got to know, like, and trust you. Right? We say this in real estate all the time. Is you know, Agents don't have retirement plans. Right? There's no retirement plan for the agents. So we're doing this no like, and trust thing. If we don't lock down on the real estate at the end, we're working until our 70s. Right. right? This is 
So right. we got to take all the skills we have. It's no like a trust, it's rapport building, this education. You're doing it right now. You're doing it with your investments and you're shifting over. And I think every agent really does 2024 is the year to do this. Start acquiring those assets because uh, this, this next year, if we don't do it now, the hedge funds are going to do it for us, right? 2024, 25, 26. I think this is probably the last big opportunity for the average person to get into real estate at scale. Because after this, uh, it really, you can already see it. People are priced out. There's no way certain people will ever be able to buy a house. It, that's only going to continue to increase because of what the government did with um, inflation, the way they're treating inflation, the way they created it. This, this economy will never go back to the way it was. This is a whole new world, a whole new economy. And uh, we as agents, we have to think about our retirement, but also our clients. You know, Working with investors now is the easiest person to work with. There's more of them. They buy when people can't afford. We buy at 6, 7, 8, 10, 12% interest rates. So like, there's a lot in... In 2024, that's going to be a huge opportunity for the agent, you know, the investor. And I think that, uh, you know, educating ourselves and surrounding ourselves with people who are doing it, you know, people like you who are actively out there investing. Uh, some people don't belong investing actively. If they're you know older or they're inexperienced, maybe they need somebody like you to to do the deal with, you know, partnering with people. That's part of that's part of success in real estate. It's a relationship business. You know, partner with people, see what that person has already done. And if like all you have is money, then you don't need to have experience. If you've got some money sitting in a 401k, if you've got money sitting in your bank or an IRA or a, uh, a infinite banking bonus. system. You just got a big a big bonus. Yeah, Big bonus. You sold a business, right? Any of those big cash things sure. and you want to get into real estate, I think a lot of people make mistakes by trying to do it themselves. I think uh, partnering with somebody who's got experience, who does things morally, ethically, legally, has a history in the business, is not going to run away. You know, That's one of the reasons brokers are so good. You have your license right? Like you have to do everything legally. You have to stay above board. So investing with somebody with their license is uh, is one of those benefits to to being a real estate investor. It's kind of like a checkbox of like, okay, sure. this person's passed all things. They got no, uh, you can't get your license if you have any kind of issues with the law, right? If you've been to jail, if you're any kind of like, so there's like a lot of qualification yeah. around it. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's sad when you when you stray away from what you should do um and and it's um uh, it's bad for the industry but you're going to run in there's bad people in every single industry and this is just one of them um uh my investment so we talked i called you earlier uh, i think it was last week because uh i'm doing a slightly different thing and uh i have focused on it um because it's a passion of mine i love vacations I love unique vacations. I love going places that um, I'm not always go to the same place every single year. That's our place. We have done that as a family, but now I'm more interested in going to different places and seeing different places. And um, short-term rental marketing industry has has really grown. A lot of people are saying it's horrible, and there's a lot of stories out there, this Airbnb and that that kind of thing. But the opposite is also true, that if you purchase something that's unique and, and uh, you set it up correctly, a um, couple of things you have to have. You have to have parking. Uh, you have to have keyless entry. Um, you have to have security. Um, you have to be close enough to uh, entertainment and and uh, restaurants so you can walk to stumble home. You know, people love that. And if you have those things and then you set it up where you answer your phone, if there's an issue, you have a team on on the ground wherever you are. Um, so I have that with with one of my properties and I'm, I'm looking to purchase other properties because in my uh, retirement I don't want to retire I love what I do you know but I don't want to do the daily grind I want to do uh, let's make sure everything's working the right way the managerial part of it have other people do the day-to-day -day and me do the managerial which is of find properties, find the money for the property, set it all up so it so it works. And um, I think that's noble cause and it's different than multifamilies. Um, I manage properties as well. You know that uh, that's usually a no fun job most of the time. Uh, it's a good money job, 
but it's it's other people's problems. You know, that's that a property manager. The only time they're ever calling you is because something's wrong. <laughs> And I, I have a lot of property managers, right? In the multifamily space, our properties are all over the country. And uh, you're right. It takes such a pit bull mentality. They are such tough, strong people, like thick skin. And all they want is to be appreciated. So, you know, for me as an asset manager, I just appreciate them. And I think what you just described is asset management, right? You're not a property manager. You're you're managing the asset. That's it's a right. it takes a finesse to do that. It takes an understanding of the market. It takes understanding of the the marketing skills, the the nature of the industry, and like everything you just described is exactly how you succeed in short term rentals, right? That's how you succeed. And the people that I've seen fail are just randomly buying real estate and saying, I'm going to Airbnb it. And that's not how this business works. It's a business. You have to know what you're doing. You have to, like, that's why I say people should invest with people that know what they're doing. You know, invest yeah. with a partner who's experienced. Yeah. And the STR market, the short-term rental market has a lot of room to grow. It just takes a finesse. It takes somebody who knows how to manage the asset. So you're in the right space and, and your investors, anybody who invests with you is, is going to do well because that you know what you're doing, right? You're talking about, you're talking about the skill of managing an asset. It, it, it is a, it's an art, right? It's not a science. It is an art. And there's, there's a level of creativity that's necessary to it, especially vacation homes. That is, yeah. uh, fortunately you like it. So, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm uh, old enough to have been on a, a boatload of great vacations, you know, and and uh, one of the things my wife and I will be sitting, relaxing and, you know, and I'll remember a great meal we had in Italy or, you know, um, the great sunrises in, in Lake Tahoe. Um, it, it's let's go there. And, and so um, as I build these properties, I'm going to have to go to them, you know, and and I want to love them. And that's a different kind of mindset than I know this is can make me money and I'm I'm here to make money. Uh, yes, always. That's what business is. But you want to like it. You want to care about it um, in some way for me. And I, I'm looking for people that that are like that, but they want to be in there for the long term. It's not a short term. Let's let's buy and flip. Uh, that buy and flip is a whole different game. There's so many different ways um, that, you, and you probably did that at, the, at your beginning, didn't you? I still technically flip property. It's it's not technical flipping. The tax law doesn't look at me as a flipper. So the way I operate is I do sell assets that I acquired and I make a lot of money when I make the sale, but it's capital gains. I'm not paying income tax like a person who flips property. I have done flips. I've done four or five flips in my life and uh, maybe, yeah, around that. But the the reason I don't do flips is because the taxes, the taxes of a flip is so gross, especially as you get older, tax, the gap, tax game becomes very, very important as you age because you have less and less time to, to clean up those mistakes, right? If the government's taking 30, 40% of what you're making, that's 30, 40% of your year you worked for free. So when I started looking at that, I was like, oh my God, my time is so valuable. And I, I really am, Larry, I'm probably like a seven year old man inside a, a 38 year old man's body. I just like, I'm always thinking about, I don't want to physically do the work. I want to enjoy my life. I want to be on vacations. And one of the things you said is these different properties in different locations create that experience for you, but it also creates that experience for your investors. A lot of the, the people I know who are in the short-term rental space, they're not buying in one city. They're buying, I have friends who bought in Roatan, Tropical Island, bought a five family out there. He, and he's, I'm, invested with him in other projects and he's like hey if you ever want you know you got that spot you know don't worry about it if, if it's you know not a booked weekend we'll put you out there so like you kind of get this cool portfolio where you can help friends out and especially if they invested in the project that's kind of like a sweet little bonus of investing with me as you get access to these kind of vacation homes um, kind of like a, a almost like a timeshare sort of thing sure. except you're actually invest actually invested you're not paying yeah. like a monthly fee like you got this money's actually coming to you so yeah. Yeah. And the, and the other thing I do in each one of these locations, they're all in different locations like you were talking about. In each one of these locations, I work locally. I get a local caretaker. I get a local cleaning people. I uh, partner with uh, restaurants and, you know, I promote them on on the pages. People like that. Townspeople like that. You don't want to be, they say in Maine, from away. 
you don't want to be from away. You want to be a townsperson. And the only way you do that is by actually embracing it. The other thing I, I, I have done, particularly with my cleaning person in, in Maine, is she's got a family. And um, I know that they work really hard. Everybody in Maine works really hard. It's hard to make a really good living there. And people do, but it's, it's a little bit harder. Um, and they all have several jobs. And um, I put her up on uh, for a week-long vacation on one of my other properties. She didn't have to clean it. And I said, you don't have to clean this one up. <laughs> and But she did call me when she got there and she said, you should tell your cleaning person, look under this and go for that. And, you know, but you see, it's a collaborative thing. And you treat that's, people with, treat people with respect, pay them. That's how real estate is. Real estate is always going to be relationships, uh, respect yeah. for the individual. Um, Larry, I have, speaking of, I have a coaching client. I got to get into a, a cons consultation. Uh, this this mission you're on to help people, this mission to help brokers get to that next level, I just want to share before I jump off that um, I'm so impressed with how hard you work towards it. I understand, you know, I've, I've been on this podcast before and you had a partner before and now you're doing it all by yourself. I know how much work that is. So for everybody who's listening, uh, just just know that Larry is doing this not because he has to. He's doing it because he cares. I know his financial situation is fantastic and him and his wife are taken care of. So uh, the fact that he's doing this for you and the fact that you're still listening, the fact that you care about your success is is really important. People who want more, people who uh, give to others and support others end up having really great quality of lives and they have a lot of friendships. The secret to living a long life is your connections. It's your relationships. It's volunteering. It's supporting. It's uh, it's giving. So um, thank you, Larry, for, for bringing me onto the show. And I love what you're doing. Uh, I love the mission. And uh, if there's anything we can do in Alchemist Nation to support brokers, to support investors, entrepreneurs, uh, we are here to support you. Uh, everything the Broker Talk does is is moving the world forward in a positive way. So well, thank, thank you, you. Thank you, Walter Amarello from Alchemist Nation. Um, be in touch with him. Uh, make yourself a million. Thanks so much, Walter. Say hello to Dorina. Talk to you soon. I will, brother. Cheers. Cheers.